The road to Madrid is still long and it's difficult to say who will arrive there victorious. Only one second stand between the top two riders, not counting the numerous outsiders who can still harbor hopes for the win. Today's stage 16 was dominated by Joaquim Rodriguez, who confirmed he was a true puncher on gradients of 20% and left the other leaders behind. The man from Katyusha took two seconds off Veru and took the red jersey by one second. But it isn't over yet, as Tom Dumoulin lost only 27 seconds today and should still be able to make up for lost time on Wednesday's time trial at Burgess. Less than two minutes separate the Dutchman from the race leader. The riders can expect a very difficult finish today on stage 16. Two major ascents are waiting on the last 30 kilometers. The first category summit Alto de la Cobertoria and a final ascent to Lauto Ermito de Alba with gradients of 11% over 7 kilometers. Before that, five more ascents need to be passed and even in case of a breakaway, an open fight amongst favorites can be expected today. From the flag, a group of riders parts company with the pack. Amongst them Frank Schleck or Pierre Roland, already part of the break yesterday, or Omar Frey, leader of the mountain classification with hopes to raise his lead. The peloton lets the escapees take off, and several riders join them, like Moreno Moser, Cyril Lemoine, or the Ethiopian Skabu Gourmet from Lampre. The breakaways gain ground, and soon the gap goes up to 20 minutes, while the peloton is led by Katyusha and Joachim Rodriguez, who aims for Fabio Aru's red jersey. Then the lead starts to dwindle, but 40 kilometers before arrival, it is still of 18 minutes and it looks like the break could go all the way. On the Alto de la Cobertoria, Frank Schleck seems to be the strongest and leaves one escapee after the other behind, while Rafael Maikas Saxo Tinkov are leading the peloton and start the hunt. 23 kilometers before the finish line, the lead is of 11 minutes. That's when Fabio Aru and Astana start setting the pack's pace. At the summit of the Alto de la Cobertoria, the Colombian Rodolfo Torres is the only one able to follow Frank Schleck, and a stage win should be decided amongst those two. The Colombian gives it all on the final ascent, but on the higher gradients, two and a half kilometers before arrival, Frank Schleck irresistibly pulls away and takes the stage win on the slope of 20%. It's an important victory for the man from Luxembourg who was aiming for the win of this Vuelta. Rodolfo Torres finishes second. In the leaders' group, Tom Dumoulin hangs on, trying to lose as little time as possible before the time trial on Wednesday. But the Dutchman eventually falls back on the final slopes. That's where Joaquim Rodriguez attacks and passes the finish line ahead of his rivals. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm just going to be really, really happy. I've been fighting hard to... Uh, the last uh, the last month I had uh, some injuries, couldn't do the tour. Uh, came here with a lot of uh, attention for the confidence for the Vuelta. I uh, had a couple of crashes, so we forgot about the overall classment. Uh, and then today it's all worth it. Today winning this stage, uh, it's all worth it. So I'm very happy. He had to wait for five years to raise his arms again for the victory sign, but today Frank Schleck rode to success on stage 16. It's the third stage win this year for Team Track Factory, a joy that Team Colombia of second place Rodolfo Torres hasn't tasted yet. In the overall ranking, Rodriguez takes the lead before Aru. Tom Dumoulin loses a bit more time, but still lies less than two minutes behind. Valverde goes down to rank 9, four minutes behind the leader. Tomorrow, the pack will enjoy the second day off on the Vuelta 2015. The participants will have some rest in Burgos before the time trial that leads around the city. The flat 38 km long track could give Tom Dumoulin the opportunity to make up for the time he lost in the Asturies. <laughs>